In this video, I want to show quickly how the connection has to be done at the chair base because we just finished to install a few chairs here in Germany. And I want to uh, give a fast explanation of how the things has to be. So as electrical system, we have this cable that come from the ground and is this the um, selection for the suction. So it's just two wires that goes from here to the machinery room. And this permit to give the input to the suction to start uh, working. Then we have, of course, the, the power socket that is closed and is the one that come from here. So it's the power for the dental unit, it's the 220 volt. And then we apply here the ground. <laughs> It's very important also uh, to apply this on the metal plate of the, of the chair. Then we have the suction system, that is this big tube. In not every chair are, are the same, but it's uh, quite standard here. So we have the suction with the selection valve from DUR. It's this permit to close the dental unit when uh, the other are, um, are working. And in this case, we have also the drain pipe, that is this one. This the drain pipe is the air, is the water that comes from the basin. And as you can see, we introduce here also uh, this tube. This tube is the, a little drain that uh, it gives air and water, just a drop, just a bit, when we turn off the unit. So it's an exhaust tube that we, we put inside in, in, the, in the same place over there. Then we have the air connection that is here. We put a fast connector and we keep also all the tube very, very short. So to keep everything uh, compact. Then we have the water tube that is this one and is the one that goes directly to this valve. So don't get confused between the uh, air uh, sorry, uh, the, the water pipe that goes here and this blue tube that is just a drain. So you don't have to put water here. The water goes in the tube that arrives here. And uh, we normally apply also an extra tap on the chair base for the water. So in case you have a problem, you can close only the, the water here. So this is very important um, to don't have only the central system to close but only chair by chair for the air is not so important but you can apply also this kind of tap uh, for the air and then we apply also this cable that is uh, a LAN cable for the data uh, so to connect all the chairs together and to connect in the internal system so this is um, how the unit is connected at the chair base and how it should be. One important thing is just to remember that uh, you have here uh, a button with the position number zero, one and two. The position number zero, of course, you turn off the unit. In the position number one, it means that we activate the electricity immediately. In the position number two, the electricity is activated by the air. So this system permit to close the air when I close this lever. So normally this lever close air and water, but when we have the position number two on the button, it permit to close the electricity as well. So the position number two is the one to keep uh, when you install the unit. So once the unit is installed, you put in position number two. The position number one is during the installation, if I need to move the chair up and down and we don't have the water, the air yet, so the compressor is not installed, it permit us to move anyway the chair. So once everything is done by moving this, I open everything, air, water and electricity. So I think this is all. Um, sometimes we have different kind of connection at the chair base because it, you can have a, a dry suction system, for example, or you can have only one pipe for the suction uh, when you have for example, the amalgam separator and the, um, the valve at the, for the basin. So to connect also the water that comes from the basin to the amalgam centralized system that you have in the clinic. 
So let's say that this configuration is a kind of standard when you don't have to install the uh, amalgam system. Like, for example, in this situation, uh, is a clinic that uh, they does they do only cleaning, so they don't have any amalgam removing or micro motor or these things. So we could avoid to apply any kind of system. Moreover, we have a wet suction that now we are going to see, and the, the wet suction doesn't need any extra valve for air-water separation. So, for example, the CS1 from Dubur. 